A while ago, I saw a video on this old house about how to assemble a air filter with just uh, four furnace filters, a piece of cardboard, and a box fan. This is what we're making. Of course, this one's a little dirty. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but it keeps the air clean, which is important. So that's the goal. This is an air filter with a 20 by 20 inch box fan and four 20 by 20 inch uh, furnace filters. These are those deep pleated, the two inch ones. Those are best, it gets you more surface area. And uh, it's not expensive. You can order these on Amazon. I'm not sure exactly how much they cost, but um, for a set of four, it's uh, a lot cheaper than having to buy one of these really fancy uh, you know, air filtration systems for your shop. And I don't have a very big shop. Uh, I have two of them. This is a much uh, smaller version that a friend built. Really neat how he did this. He even put fins on the inside to make the fan more efficient. Anyway, um, watch this not go back in. Point being, uh, don't have to go this fancy with it. He built a wooden frame. You can just use a little duct tape and uh, a box filter and uh, a box fan, and that's it. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I need to do, unbox my filter fan. My filter fan, yeah, I guess that's right. So I pretty much bought the cheapest fan that I could find on Amazon. I can't vouch for the quality of it, but uh, Go. Look, I found a screw in my shoe. It just poked me. That went right into my foot. All right, we've got our uh, allergy defense filter at two inch filter. These have deep pleats, which are good. Anything between 7 and 11 Merv is ideal. That's a if it's too high, if it's beyond 11, it's going to make it so that it doesn't draw as much air and it's not going to be as efficient. All right, so I've got all of the filters arranged in such a way so that the arrows are pointing inward. They're pointing inward toward the center of the box, and I've got them all just stacked up here in such a way. Of course, they're not perfectly arranged yet, but uh, I'm going to get them lined up and uh, simply tape them to, the, uh, to each other, first of all, in the form of a box, and then tape them to the... Uh, fan and I'm using Gorilla Tape because Gorilla Tape is uh, supposedly better than duct tape at holding up for a while so she's gonna look so pretty when she's done Okay, so now that we have this box glued to, well, taped together, I'm going to uh, attach it with tape to the box fan. Doesn't really matter which direction you set the fan in, either way, it's going to pull air through the uh, filters. I have the, the fan, the front part of the fan, that kicks air this way, facing outward. So air will be sucked through these filters and will come out here clean. Okay, now here's the real beauty of this situation is we have uh, this end cap that we could probably buy another filter and that would be great, but if we didn't want to buy an extra filter, because usually these come in packs of four, we could just use the box that the fan came in, cut it out as a little cap here. So I'm going to do that now. Should be the right size. Yeah, that's good.
This is a fucking way. We have to get Alright, so we've got everything assembled here and now I'm going to use this uh, little piece of wood that I screwed into the side of this fan to mount it up to my ceiling so that I can keep it out of uh, head's reach, right? I need to actually move this one higher up because there's really not a huge advantage to it being near head level. So that's what I'm going to do is uh, just screw this up. Just got a little piece of, uh, I don't know, four by eight inch, one by wood and uh, I'm going to screw it up there. Mm -hmm. Alive. It's alive. All right. So I've got that up there. Of course, it's a bit of a bummer that most of that other side is blocked off, and I'm sure I could have mounted it up in such a way to where it would have been a little more efficient to grab the power knob, but uh, a couple things I didn't mention here. I've actually got the uh, fan wired into the switch, which is the outlet, so when I turn the lights on, the fan automatically comes on. Now, when I need to turn this thing off, I have to climb up and reach, and so I didn't want to have to do that. <laughs> this is not recommended, but I just wanted to show you how... Uh, how janky my engineering is. So I have the string uh, attached to the knob so I can turn it on and off that way. And it works. So there's one option if you have one of these uh, knob fans. Anyway, having a couple of these in the shop is gonna be uh, hugely impactful on the quality of the air. And uh, gosh, this doesn't take more than 20 or 30 minutes to throw together, if that, less. Uh, so no excuse now not to have clean air in the shop since uh, even if you can't afford the big expensive units, these are great.